I've made so many videos on free add-ons and scripts and also plugins for Adobe Illustrator. So it's pretty crazy how I've still managed to source some free and some useful plugins in today's video. In the way the design industry is going, learning how to prototype is a no-brainer. Instead of just putting flat files in front of your team, your manager or your client, imagine being able to hand them a prototype that's so good it actually feels like a real app or website. Learn more about Framer as well as how to sign up to the free plan later in today's video. So the links for all of the add-ons are down in the description box below, but do make sure to watch the entire video so you can understand how they work and also how to install them. But we're going to quickly look at the first plugin and when you have installed it, you will find it in the extensions panel. So this thing is a real beast and I'm still getting used to it because I just have discovered it recently. So this panel offers many different color books for Pantone and it labels each color book and what it's used for. So as an example, we have solid uncoated, which will work best for printing on uncoated paper. So of course, the beauty of Pantone colors means that you are safe in the knowledge that someone on the other side of the world will have the same color as you have on your screen. And so the design should be recreated or printed out exactly the same way. With this add-on, you can simply pick and apply a Pantone color to your design from the panel. The user interface is really, really neat, and it is easy to just click and change your design in accordance to the Pantone swatch libraries. But now let's take a look at some color harmony. And as you can see, you can locate and search a specific Pantone color, and then it's going to suggest to you different colors that work well in harmony. And this is in accordance to color schemes such as complementary and split complementary. Another great feature of this add-on is that you can drag colors into a palette and then save them for later. That's very, very powerful. But maybe one of the most powerful aspects of this add-on is the extract function. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a new image to demonstrate that function. And so here I am with my new bold look. And as you can see, the add-on has identified certain colors with a color node. Now you can move the nodes around and the software would actually find the closest Pantone to that color. So yeah, this add-on is totally free, but you do need to sign up with your email address, which is not really much of an issue. And you can also check all of the info on a chosen Pantone color and find further harmonies. Now I'm still exploring this add-on and I don't fully know all of the functions yet because I just have recently discovered it. But at a first glance, it does seem really, really neat. So let's move on to the second add-on today. And with all of today's downloads, you do need to have a Creative Cloud account. So once you've downloaded something, you can click and see where the add-on can be found in Illustrator, which is often in the extensions panel. You will then need to restart Adobe Illustrator, as I mentioned earlier. And so this next one today does perform a somewhat small task, but it's really, really helpful and it will save time. Now you can find it in the extensions window, like we said, and it's going to open up a nice UI panel, as you can see here. And we're now going to have a quick look at its properties. So firstly, we are able to quickly toggle the order of shapes or objects in Adobe Illustrator, and that's something really helpful just by itself. And this is something that I personally know I'm going to make some good use of. And I'm sure that you can find some pretty good use for it too. However, the main aspect of this add-on is that we can create compound shapes with just one click. Now, a compound shape is a non-destructive workflow method in Illustrator. And it means that once we've made an operation, that we can actually still go back in and make changes and edits. Now you want to have the fastest and also the least destructive methods possible when working in Adobe Illustrator. And this little panel here is something that will surely help you with that in your workflow. So the next add-on is another small little panel that performs a specific action. And that action is a quick isometric style design. Now I really like how neat these UIs are. And as you can imagine, it's really handy just to have it there on the side. Now we can easily and in a straightforward way make isometric designs by using this panel. I know there are similar functions built into Illustrator, but it's just nice to have this within one neat panel easily to access and easily to use. 
And also remember, these are all free if you have a Creative Cloud account. And I think for being free, these are really handy tools indeed. And so the final one today has two parts to it that really do make it useful. And it can be found, again, in the same location as everything else today in the extensions panel. So the first thing we can do is to take a single object and then make it into a grid. Now you just need to type in how many rows and how many columns you want, as well as maybe the gaps between each of the objects. So this is a real time saver and it's something I have wanted in the past and I am going to make use of this, I'm sure. But with this add-on, we can also take our objects or our design and fit it to an entire artboard, which you can see here. But the other useful aspect of this add-on is that we can make many duplicates of a single shape with just one click. Type in the number of copies that you want to generate and then just hit OK. So yeah, these free plugins can all be found down in the description box below. And of course, you do need to have a Creative Cloud account. So that means those of you who have hacked Illustrator are out of luck today, I'm afraid. And the sponsor of today's video is Framer. It's a no code, free to use tool, making it easy for anybody to become a prototyper. Now the simple onboarding and design as you go tutorials teach you how to use powerful pre-built components, make your own custom animations and recreate common interactions. So just after a few hours, you're probably gonna have a new skill that helps you stand out from the crowd. Now sign up for free or get a 20% discount of any paid plan by visiting framer.com forward slash Satori Graphics. And that link is down in the description box below for you to access right now. If you want to learn something else about Adobe Illustrator, do click a video on screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.